you're travelling through Vietnam, then experiencing the Vietnamese sleeper train is an absolute must. In this video, you will see what a train is like, and you'll be able to decide whether a sleeper train is for you. For locals, a sleeper train brings a more affordable way to travel long distance, as opposed to flying. And in some circumstances, I prefer this type of travel, particularly as there is a bed to sleep in. This is a train station in Vietnam, in Nam Dinh. Over a little plank of wood. Vietnam, baby. 5:30 p.m. and it still has lots of sun. Nam giờ ba mươi phút chiều nắng nhiều Nam Dinh. Train tickets can be bought at the station, but if you don't understand Vietnamese, then it's probably easier if you buy them online in advance. Of course, booking via these English websites will be slightly more than buying at the counter at the train station. But I shall give some links to a few websites that you can use in the pinned comment down below. Hello. Hello. So this is the train from Nam Ninh to uh, Vinh, Nha An, which takes just over four hours. It costs 388,000 to book a bunk. Now luckily, looks like we've got the whole cabin to ourselves. But if you can, obviously try and book the bottom bunk because it's more comfortable. You don't have to climb up to the top bunk via this step. It has air conditioning in here. Uh, you've got a lovely view, it's going through the city centre right now. And then obviously it will go through the countryside soon and you see all the nature, your buffaloes, your rice fields, your real Vietnam as I like to call it, not your cities. Obviously that is Vietnam but for me the image of Vietnam is always in the countryside. But look how nice this bed is. It will fit you even if you're six foot plus, six foot two, six foot three. And to be honest I was on the top bunk on the other journey and it wasn't too bad. You actually got more privacy at the, at the top. It's just a bit of a struggle to get up there. But in terms of comfort, it's really, really nice. This is the most expensive way to travel. Um, it is more expensive than a sleeper bus, which is still good. I've got reviews on the sleeper buses, ranging from ten pounds to seventeen pounds, and I'll probably put them in the description. Description. But this is a twenty-six pound return leg for a four hour journey. So 13 pounds each. Not too bad at all. Let's just have a look at the view quickly. See, city centre in Nam Ninh. Just visited family in Nam Ninh. So you've got your own reading light here. You've got a USB. You've got other sockets here. You've got a bin or a trash can. No smoking. And then you've got your like your main control unit here that controls the air conditioning. You can you can lock the door too. Lots of handles if you're up, up, up top, and you've got loads of hooks here, and lots of storage space up here. And then you've got all your storage space underneath the bed to fit a medium-sized suitcase. bed comes with a pillow and a blanket. Now as I try and hold this camera still, this is, oh my god, this is the advantage of a bottom bunk. And look, I'm sitting down right now. You can't really do that on the top bunk. Well, you can, but your legs will be hanging down, and if there's someone else here, you might disturb them. So, if you can, try and book a bottom bunk, which is easier with your suitcases or your luggage. It's, you know, you've got your table here, uh, you've got the easy access to the plugs, which is down below here. 
so pretty much everything is easier if you've got the barn bunk and you can just look out to this like lovely lovely view it is probably coming across as quite like rickety on this train it is but believe me like I'm not the best sleeper but I was able to sleep on the way here for a good three hours out of a four hour journey so it is really good but this is just to show you that you can sit down and relax and just enjoy oh my god and just enjoy the journey what a way to travel though sleeping and arriving at your destination this is only four hours but if you can take a, a 10 hour journey or 11 or 12 hours you don't need to, you don't need a hotel you can just book this the toilets here they come and knock on your door and tell you when you've arrived at your destination and they come round and they like Harry Potter start hey, anything off the trolley dear they don't have any um, jumping frogs or so we're approaching a train station I'm not sure where it could be Ningbing yeah so it was Ningbing train station Went there four years ago, really lovely small town or city. You can go to the uh, Chang'an River tour. Basically it's where King Kong Skull Island was filmed, some of the scenes there. Really beautiful, really, really recommend going there. absolutely recommend taking a train in Vietnam a sleeper train if you can with a bunk bed obviously you can get a train and there's different types and different styles depending on the price so your most standard one is your bog standard wooden seat that doesn't recline that's the cheapest one then you've got a section that has uh, six bunk beds in a room and then this one is the most expensive it's the uh, four bunk beds in a room it's, a, it's called the soft sleeper but yeah, I really recommend getting this one if it is available. <laughs> 